Hello everyone, I am Kirti and in today's video, I will be telling you some of the different techniques of factorizing an algebraic expression. But before moving to the techniques of factorizing an algebraic expression, let us understand what does factorization means. For example, if we have an algebraic expression, say 4xy plus 3y square. Okay, now in this particular expression, if we have to factorize this expression, it means that we have to write this expression in the form of the product of the factors, factor 1, factor 2 and so on. And the important thing here is that these factors should be in their irreducible state. When we say irreducible state, it means that these factors if they are numbers, they have to be the prime numbers and if they are algebraic factors, then they should be in their lowest state in, from which we cannot further simplify it. Okay, so let us move to the first step of factorization, which is known as factorizing by common factor method. Okay, so common factor method in this as the name suggests, we have to check whether our algebraic expression has something common among all the factors. So let us understand it with an example. Suppose we have an algebraic expression 4xy plus 3y square. There are two terms here. The first term 4xy has got the factors 2, x and y. And 3y square has got the factors 3, y and y. So we see here that among the two terms, y is a common factor, okay? So whatever is the common factor, we take it out and then apply the law of distribution to write the remaining terms in the bracket. So from the first term, when y goes out, we are left with a 4x. From the second term, we are left with a 3y, okay? So we see that we are able to write 4xy plus 3y square in the form of something into something. This something is the first factor y and this is 4x plus 3y. Now let us look at these two factors. y is already in its lowest state. We cannot reduce it any further. And even 4x plus 3y is in its simplest form because we cannot take anything common out of these two terms and also neither the terms are like so that we can combine them. So this form is known as the factor form. Okay, and the process of writing an algebraic expression in this factor form is known as factorization. So this is known as factorization. So the first technique of factorization which we learnt on this page is factorizing by common factor method. Now there can be a scenario in which we have an algebraic expression uh, say 2xy plus 2y plus 3x plus 3. Okay, and we are asked to factorize it. The first thing that we need to check is, is there anything common among all the terms? But when we look at the four terms, we see that there is nothing common in this algebraic expression, which is common to the, all the terms in the expression. So how do we factorize it? The second method of factorization is called factorization by regrouping. Okay, as the name suggests, we have to form the subgroups of the term. So we have taken the first two terms together and the third and the fourth term together. Now let us look at the first bracket. We see that 2 is a common factor and even y is a common factor. So we take 2 and y outside the bracket. According to the law of distribution, we are left with an x from the first term and 1 from the second term. Now in the second bracket, 3 is a common factor and we are again left with an x plus 1. Now among these two subgroups, x plus 1 is a common factor again, let us take out and we are left with a 2y plus 3. So what do we see? That by regrouping, we are able to write 2x plus 2y plus 3x plus 3 in the form of something into something. The two factors and these factors, if we see, are in their lowest state. Okay, so we are able to factorize this as x plus 1 into 2y plus 3. Now, the question arises is, can do we always have to follow a specific sequence of uh, grouping the terms? 
okay so the answer is no now let us see how do we do it we can regroup the term in any order so let us just regroup the first term and the third term and regroup the second term and the fourth term and try simplifying it so we see that in this particular bracket we have got an x common so we are left with a 2y plus 3 in the second bracket there is nothing common this means one can be taken out as common so we are left with a 2y plus 3 now again among the two subgroups 2y plus 3 and 2y plus 3 is common so let us take this out as common factor from the first term we are left with an x from the second term we are left with a 1 so we see that irrespective of the grouping or the order of grouping which we have done we uh, reach the same factor form okay so now let us consider one more way of regrouping we take say the first term and we take the last term we take the second term 2y and the third term 3x now we see that in this particular bracket we don't have anything in common here also we don't have anything in common if we have nothing in common then we will not be able to factorize the expression okay so we say that this kind of regrouping does not work for us okay this kind of regrouping does not work and we will not be able to factorize the expression with these kind of groups however this is a valid regrouping and this is also a valid regrouping so whenever we regroup the key point here is we have to check whether we are getting this common factor among the two subgroups which we have formed here also we are getting a 2y plus 3 and the same factor here if that is the scenario then we will be able to factorize it using the regrouping okay now let's move ahead and see the third and the most important technique of factorization which is known as factorizing by splitting the middle term splitting the middle term now what happens in this let us understand it with an example so let us take an example say x square plus 5x plus 6 what do we see here that we cannot take anything common out of the three terms even if we regroup and solve uh, x square plus 5x plus 6 we will not get the common factor among the groups so how do we go about solving it okay so to understand the splitting the middle term technique first let us take the general form of a quadratic expression ax square plus bx plus c represents a quadratic expression where a is the coefficient of x square b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant term so you multiply the coefficient of x square and the constant term and whatever product we get here we have to write this product as the product of two factors such that when we add these two factors we get the middle term b okay now let us apply the same thing in this example and understand how it works so we will write x square plus 5x plus 6 the coefficient of x square is 1 so ax square plus bx plus c we get a is 1 b is 5 and c is 6 okay so what we have to do we have to multiply a and c so we get 1 into 6 which is 6 and then we have to write 6 as the product of two factors such that when we add the two factors we should get the middle term which is 5 which is b so 6 can be written as 2 into 3 correct so we see that the middle term 5x can be splitted as 2x and 3x okay now let us split and see how we can solve it so our example is x square plus 5x plus 6 and we have determined that 5x can be splitted as 2x and 3x now we will combine these two we will combine these two from this bracket x comes out as the common factor so we are left with an x plus 2 from here 3 comes out as the common factor so law of distribution x plus 2 is remaining and now again we have got from the two groups x plus 2 as a common factor and we are left with an x plus 3 and both these factors are in their irreducible form so we say that the factorized form of x square plus 5x plus 6 is x plus 2 into x plus 3 
so in this video we have learned some of the techniques which we can use to factorize an algebraic expression i hope it's clear to everyone thank you